when we let go of tomorrow, yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. to the show we are gonna play with colorado craft company tonight i have no idea why the bot was popping a pole up there an old pole by the way um uh, got everyone voting for something that's not happening sorry about that but i'm so happy that you're here i'm uh hoping that everyone will keep their comments coming and make all the new folks feel welcome we are going to have a giveaway tonight. We are playing with the new release for September for Colorado Craft Company tonight and doing a little technique I'm calling uh, stencil blocking. I don't know if anyone else has ever done this or not or you know, if it's not something that, that floats your boat, just uh, maybe the copic coloring we do tonight will. Um, but it's a new little thing that I thought up or reimagined or something. Anyway, I've not seen it done this way and I wanted to share it with you. It's a card that I put up on Instagram this week and I've got another one to go tomorrow and it's on the thumbnail of this video. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I did that. I think that's what uh, we're gonna do tonight. I got a little note from Elizabeth Rue in the mail yesterday and I just wanna shout her out. Thank you so much for the card and the, the donation that you gave toward whatever I need for Del and Artie. That was very, very sweet of you. Thank you very much. And I'm going to give you a round of applause for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the card. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. I love that very much. Thank you. Thank you. So sweet. Um, also, again, ignore the poll. I see people are voting and... That pole is old. It's not supposed to be up there. <laughs> but uh, we have a new goal for September up here. Let me publish that goal, that uh, little goal line. I like showing that to you guys. So let me pop that up here for you. 
I'm going to copy that and launch that and then put that up on the screen. Let's see, overlays, a new widget overlay, and September goals. Now, this goal is reached by uh, putting change or a few bucks here and there. Not that one. That's the wrong one. Um, here and there over on Streamlabs. That's this place right here. For you guys that's that um, streamlabs.com slash Dylan Artie you can buy me a coffee if you like or you know nothing it's not necessary but it is also always fun to see how Dylan Artie can grow so let's see this is September goal that's what I put in there all right that should work there we go check that out we're at zero dollars so let's see if we can get that going tonight. This is our first uh, first show of September. So we've got that going right there. All right. All right. So are there any newbies here tonight? I want to see. Uh, Patty Neff just subscribed. Thank you, Patty. You are awesome. Okay. Ah, that was very sweet. Elizabeth, thank you very much. If you're new here tonight, type in the word new in all caps with an exclamation point. I want to say hi to you, and all the Arties do too. I know they do, because they're super sweet. And while we're doing that, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you the newest release from Colorado Craft Company. So let's bring this down here. And I'm going to put my handsome face up in the top corner. I see we've got lots of people seeing or watching tonight. Why don't you share some, uh, some of you share this to the socials, if you would. Try to get some folks in here and uh, see what we're going to play with tonight. I'm going to play with this here. This one is called the um, Keep Growing Stamp Set. It's got a couple Critter Crats in there. And some plants, house plants, and a little snail and a butterfly and a rose or a flower isn't that fun why hello there stacy graves welcome sharon is new here are you new judy says this is her second visit welcome 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 everybody all right i'm so happy that you're here all right and then we have this stamp set. It's called, I like to get the exact name, so let me pull the name out here. This one is called Bird Bath Friends. I really love that one too. I might get to play with that one as well. This one is called, ah, this one is called Big Love. Big Love, it's got a rat with lots of presents. <laughs> So much fun. And this one is called Snow something. I know it's um, Snow Bunny. Flurries of fun. <laughs> I was off. I was way off. All right. Let's see. Welcome, Elizabeth. I see Elizabeth said that she's new. Is my volume down, guys? The, yeah, I'm going to turn this up. There we go. That should be better for you. Thank you. And then this one is the conga line. I love this. You should have seen my card. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, it's split. I split this in half and made the conga line um, in two places on the card. This one... I'm terrible with the names of stamp sets. This one is called Whisker Kisses. Oh my gosh, isn't it awesome? Two Critter Crats. We're sending you Whisker Kisses and birthday wishes. Ah, I love it. Of course, I'm a cat man. I love it. Kitty cats. And we have two mini sentiment stamps here. The Savvy Sentiments. 
from Colorado Craft Company. These came in a larger Savvy Sentiment set last month, and you can use these for tags. Isn't that perfect? Hi, Sue. You can check it out on my blog. It's just that I don't have the card here with me. So, um, delinardi.com and check out the blog, and you can find it over there. And this is a collaboration stamp set new to this month. I guess it's in the shop for the first time this month. I don't... It seems like I've seen it before. But it's uh, Craftober, it says, collaboration with Crafty Meraki. Meraki. Anyway, these are wonderful um, little... Are they orchids? Yeah, orchids. Isn't that beautiful? And then I love this, man. I just love the afros on these two. They're just so beautiful. Well done drawings. And, well, yeah, black is beautiful, it says. And they are beautiful. I love it. I love my black friends, my neighbors, my... I actually sat down with the lieutenant governor today in a meeting with some other pastors. And she is... And Afro-Latina, she is our first uh, Latina lieutenant governor in Rhode Island, and she's an Afri African Latina. She is, um, she was a city councilwoman, and now she's a lieutenant governor. And she came to visit us today. It was very nice to sit down with her today. Let me see. Where's my little spray bottle? I'm just gonna. Spray spray my workspace and clean it up and then we'll get started with some storybook style coloring first so keep your comments coming tonight guys and we will do a giveaway oh my there we go thank you very much as our first donation of the month and it's from Keeley Lightcap thank you so much she started us off. Time to dance, right? Woo! Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get that out there. And that out there. Get a Misty out here. And I'm going to stamp this a, f uh, a few times, then we'll color it, and then we can uh, die cut these. And then we'll make our background, our stencil blocked background. Let's see, that should be perfect. And I'm going to get a piece of cardstock. This is the Accent Opaque White cardstock I've been talking about. It is available on Amazon.com. <laughs> Jen, I'm not, so I'm not sorry I started the dancing. It is fun, though. <laughs> they might be sorry I started that. <laughs> You guys might be sorry I started that. <laughs> That's funny. Let's turn this over here. Now I'm going to stamp this with some Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. It's great for Copic markers. It does not smudge or run with Copics. So just grab that Hero Arts Intensified Black. Ink up my stamps real nice. Get my numinator tool. And I'm going to stamp it one more time. Ooh, that went a little crazy. It's getting wild and crazy over here at Dylan Artie Studios. <laughs> ah, Lana, that's funny. Yeah, other people say that too. I try to. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like him, but it just kind of happens. All right, that's good. Now, if you're not familiar with storybook style Copic coloring, this is just a style of coloring that kind of mimics watercolor. 
and it's not interested in blending as much as it is just putting color down. I have a, a bag of Copics here that I'm going to use. Let's try, I'm going to do a Calico Cats. So I'm just going to do a real quick Copic coloring here. I'm going to give them a, a little brown orange butt, a bit of orange, brown orange tail. This wire 24 is this, uh, it's called Tuscan Orange. Tuscan Orange. I'm going to zoom in for you guys just a little bit because I know you're like, I can't see. There we go. Turn the lights up. And for the little patch on his eye, I just like to draw a circle around the eye like that. And then fill in the rest like this around it. I think that's cute. All right. And now I'm going to take a W10 or W8 or 9, somewhere in there. And we will give him some black splotches on his fur. So one there. Like that. One down here. And then one right there on his tail. All right. Like that. Now I'm going to use a W3 and add a bit of shadow to my kitty. Like this. Just on the uncolored parts here. Because I want that contrast of white to be nice and strong there. Right there. And that's it. I've colored them in. It's my favorite way to color little critters. We'll do the same thing with this guy. Just put his spots in a few different areas. We'll change it up over here just a little bit. Put that right there. Put a spot here, put a spot here, on his butt, of course, or her butt. I don't know, are calicos, are there girl calicos like this? I think there are. I think there are no male calicos, or they're very rare. You guys tell me. You let me know. And we'll just do a little bit of black on his ear here. I think that's fun. Now let's add that bit of warm gray to the under parts of the critter. And we're done coloring him in. Isn't that cool? That's it, Keely. Thank you very much. It was. That is right. My I had a female calico cat growing up, so that kind of helps me get, get them straight. <laughs> All right, for the vase, you hear that? I'm so fancy. So for the vase, I'm going to use uh, BG72. This is a Copic Chow marker. Sometimes people ask, what's the difference between Copic Chow and Copic the regular Copic sketch markers. And the only difference is the shape these and size. So this is kind of an oval shape and it doesn't roll as easy on your desk. And this is a round shape barrel, smaller, and it will roll on your desk. Okay. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of a reflect, reflective space there to make that shiny. Again, I'm not worried about blending or even color here because I'm kind of mimicking the look of watercolor. Here I'm just going to bring one line down that way, a bit there underneath the, the plant, and a bit there. And that's done. 
You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And then we can color our plant in. I'm going to go with a YG61 and a Y or a G94. So I'm just going to color the whole thing with this YG61. Trying to keep it light on the lighter side, right? Not too dark. I don't want the colors to be too dark. I want there to be some contrast. So I'm just going to add a bit of darker color, darker green here and there. Like that. Then for the orchid, let's do three dots. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With an R39. And then an R... 83 to finish that off. You know how orchids are. I mean, this is a very whimsical looking orchid, so I'm going to leave the very tips white. Like that. All right. And here's that link again for the Streamlabs for everybody. Now, the uh, little posts on these orchid plants are often dark and so is the stem. The orchid stem is very dark. So I'm just going to draw that in there like that. And then we'll do the streamers, the little ribbons. We'll do an R83. Just to not go too far away from our color palette. Like that. And then we just have to color in our our little stool. I like to color that in with an, a YR21. And then I'll add a bit of the 24 in certain spots. See how fast this is coming together, guys? The coloring here is just super easy. Super duper easy. All right. So then E24, or why are 24, not 27? Where's my YR24? I don't see it. Hello? While you down, I probably have it in my little bucket over here. There it is. YR24. Just a smidge here and there of YR24. Boop, boop, underneath here, where it would be the darkest. And that's it. Now we just need to color one more item, and then we'll get to our background. How's that sound? Now, for our leaves, we'll continue with our, our color palette of Y. We'll do G43 and then G94. How about that? So I'm going to give them all the lighter color. All of these leaves the same light color. If you have any questions and I'm coloring, I'm sorry. I don't see the comments as much when I'm down here coloring. But I will look up in just a minute and you can repeat your question now and I will get to it. All right. Okay. All right. We're almost done. Oh, this is looking good. Just like that. We've got all those leaves colored green. And then I'm just going to add 
a bit of this YG94 here and there to make the leaves look like they're turned in different directions add a bit of interest and depth to our Copic painting here I hope you guys will give this a try. Anyone can do this. This is not hard at all. Super duper easy. Isn't that fun? Now let's give it a bit of this R83 treatment on these little blossoms. And then we'll add a bit, just like we did with the green, we'll add a little darker red. color on the petals. Looks like I missed a petal here. Or a, a leaf. Let's do R80 something. Do I have another R85? That's what I need. That's it. This is called Rose Red. I'm just going to add that on the sides, the right hand side of each little rose. Just adds that little bit of interest in there, right? Linda, aren't they fun images? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Linda, I see what you're talking about. It really takes some restraint in doing this. It takes a lot of restraint. So, oh, Trudy says that she's going to give away a Numinator tonight. All right, that's awesome, Trudy. You guys will love the Numinator. This is a wonderful little tool. Now let's color this in. We'll color this in with... Um, let's try a different blue-green. Let's try BG-71. 75, sorry. So, I'm going to leave the, the little wicker stripes on here white, and we'll color those in a different color here in a minute. But we're going to start by adding this BG-75 in here, like that, I'm sorry I was off camera. There we go. I keep doing that. Ooh, I had pot roast tonight. Well, it was kind of a Guatemalan stew kind of thing, but it was very good. If you're not familiar with those, you need to get yourself familiar with them. All right, for the little stripes in here, let's go with a darker red. Um, R85 is not dark enough. So let's try, let's try, I don't want to, maybe not that dark. Let's try, it doesn't have to be that either. We could do a, we could do BG72. Like that. Oh, this scared me. <laughs> Karen Lindsay, thank you so much for. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Karen. We are ten bucks into our goal this month already. That's awesome, guys. Let's go. Let's celebrate. Yeah. guys are awesome. The Arties are awesome. 
Okay, so there's our little basket. <laughs> Stacy, Daniel color is almost as fast as Bob Ross painted. That's funny. <laughs> Carrie Steerlin, that's a great question. Yep, there is a die for this, and we're going to use that in just a second. We are going to use it. All right, let's color in our stand with this golden color. We'll do this um, YR24 here, and then we'll hit the bottom with the YR21 like this. Like that. There it is. Super easy, fun coloring, right? This is no pressure coloring. Absolutely no pressure coloring. I like these little bags here. These are from um, my friend at Pear Blossom Press. And uh, also the Daily Marker, Kathy Rakusin. Great little storage there. Here are the, the coordinating dies for this stamp set. They are available from Colorado Craft Company. Let's get our the dies we're going to use. I'm going to use this sentiment die as well. I love that the dies often come with uh, the stamps. Awesome! I can't even talk. Often come with uh, dies for the sentiments at Colorado Craft Company. Not something you see from a lot of places. I really like that. All right, let's die cut this. In. Now you're gonna want to make sure you get this centered and and. I learned this the hard way. Make sure you tape these down nice and strong before you run them through your die cut die cutting machine. After all that work, you don't want to lose your work due to a slipped die. You don't want to do that. Oh my. <laughs> Laura, thank you so much. That is very kind of you. All right. Whee. An applause for Laura. She gave 10 bucks through Super Chat. Boogie, boogie, boogie time. Anyone else going to boogie with me? Are you dancing? Are you dancing with me? Do you guys actually boogie with me or you just make fun of me? Do you dance with me or not? Because I would hate to be dancing all by myself over here. Like a fool. And none of my friends dancing with me. Type in the comments if you dance with me when I boogie, do you boogie? Say, I boogie with you, Dell. Hmm. I have these little pieces of tape that I've got, that I've used a few times over there on the side, just waiting to be used again. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. I use these, uh, this magic mat. It's just amazing. I love this thing. And I use a Gemini Junior and two cutting plates. So two of these, this in the middle, and then this. And that's it. And it keeps my plates from getting all cut up and bent up. I have found what works for me. So D or Diane does dance. She's a seat dancer. <laughs> Ellen says she dances in her head with me. Come on, Ellen. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, 
I was, I grew up in like, I was born in like 74. So there was a song out and I'm sure that you guys heard it too. Shake your booty. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your booty. Anyway, I was a kid. I was a little kid and I started singing that. And my mom was a stickler about not doing things like that. <laughs> and she, I think I may have gotten a whooping for, for shaking my booty. But she can't whip me now. So I do it. She, if she saw me do it now, she'd just roll her eyes. <laughs> Anyone else sing that song? Cool in the gang. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> funny, funny. Okay. Let's do this st uh, stencil blocking background I wanted to show you guys. Are you ready for this? This is so fun and it's easy. Anyone can do this. I like to show you techniques that anyone can do. So. Get a card base out here just like this and I'm gonna get a stamping block this is Catherine Pooler's blocks um, the perfect block I think they're called they're just fantastic and I'm going to get this little guy out um, that's not the right stamp. Let's do this flower stamp from the stamps that we were using. Here it is. Just like that. So I, what you do is get another stamp like this. Or the present. I used the gift box on another one. Another card that I did this way. And you just put that aside because you're going to use that in a minute. Right? But for this I'm going to use a stencil. This is... Tailored Expressions stencil, uh, masking stencil is what it's called. This is the rectangle. And I'm just going to add this to one side here like this with a blender, blender brush. It looks like I've got the wrong label on this one, but it's okay. Um, just grab a blender brush and I'm going to use... Catherine Pooler um, Shea Butter. This is Shea Butter ink. It's part of the spa collection of inks from Catherine Pooler. You'll notice that it has a spongy pad, which I love. The new Simon says stamp inks are sponge or foam pads. So uh, looks like other people are coming on board with the foam pads as well. So Concord and Ninth has them. I don't know who else has sponge or foam pads, but Catherine's inks, the colors are just amazing. And the formula is exclusive to her. So there's no one that has this ink formula and her colors. But uh, I did order all of the Simon Says Stamp inks that just came out, the new foam ones, and we'll do a review of those shortly. I'm sure they tested the heck out of those guys, and I'm sure I'm going to love them. But I want to show them off to you, and that's what I spent some of the money on from last month's donations, right? Thank you very much. And now I'm going to take this again and see how I'm not using the whole block here. I'm just kind of patchworking it in. I'm going to have three little uh, die cuts. And so I'm going to arrange them coming off of each one of these. So I don't have to have these coming off the side of the stamp or the card base. I can have them coming off the side of the block. And it makes for this continual look on my composition. Now, see how far I have this top block from the edge? I'm going to do the same uh, equidistance from here to here, right? Kind of want to keep that distance uniform. 
Try to make that about as even as po possible there. Yeah, I wanted to see what those ink pads were all about too. I wanted to see them in action. So just curious as heck. And, and your donations are what helped me, allow me to come in and purchase things like that to try them out for you guys, right? So if you guys are curious, I can show you what they're all about. And then I'm gonna take this, flip it around, and make it equidistant here to here and here to here. But, well, no, I'm not gonna be able to put it from there to there, but from here to here, let's put it, let's put it right here, all right? About as close as I can to this one up here at the top. I do like the idea though of it being as close as possible over there. Like that. Let's put it right there. So just blend this in. We want a nice solid block here. And then we're going to take some embossing ink like Versamark or embossing and watermark clear ink from Hero Arts. One of the two, whatever I have over there. And uh, we'll stamp on top of this to get a tone on tone look, all right? There, that's kind of what I wanted. That's what I wanted actually, beautiful. Isn't that fun? Okay. Yes, yeah, Sarah, they are absolutely luxury class inks. Now, I used the Spa Collection Yellow, the Shea Butter, because it kind of is a more muted tone, and it goes well with the color palette that I chose here. It actually matches YR27 really well on the Copics. So Now, I'm just going to take my flower. See that? I'm going to take my flower. And I'm going to take some clear ink. This is Versamark. Like this. And I'm just going to stamp all over my card with this image. Flipping it around. Repeat stamping. And you'll see that this just adds a little bit of an accent to the background. I don't know how much you can see, but... I'm just uh, turning this around now and then as I go over my card. Like that. I just want to put this everywhere. And what this does is just adds interest to my composition. Put it on the white, put it on the yellow, everywhere you can. Just stamp that little sucker wherever you can get it wherever you can fit it in there like that takes a few minutes to get it all done but i think it's totally worthwhile little tone on tone look and I like this because it it's just a nice little accent but it um, it also is very forgiving so I'm not concerned about it being perfect you know I don't have to sit and measure where these guys are gonna go down you know and put one more here. Maybe another one here. If you get one on top of another as well, it's not a big deal. Then I'm going to go off my blocks a little bit here and there. There we go. Now I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see it better. See what that does? Isn't that cool? Just adds a nice little accent to your composition. OK, 
Catherine Pooler inks. Catherine Pooler inks. You guys ignore that voting thing. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Debbie, when you when you sit for hours making cards and you have to come up with new ideas constantly because you're working with so many different companies, you got to kind of think about try different things all the time. <laughs> and this is one of the things that I came up with. All right. And there's that one. There are little divots in there that you got to pull out. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit here. I'm going to pop those up like that. Just like that. And then I'm going to stamp this little uh, snail. There's this little snail image in, in here. It's just a little whimsical looking snail. And I'm going to stamp him in with some VersaFine ink. And because it's just this tiny image and it doesn't need blending, I don't mind using VersaFine and my Copics. We'll, you'll see what I mean. Just going to pop that guy right in there like that. There we go. And now we just need some foam tape. So I have this bit of foam tape here. I'm going to cut it into threes because some of my images are kind of small. So we'll leave that one whole and then this one whole like that. So my little kitty is going to get some foam tape right there. Then my planter is going to get some foam tape. Then the skinny one is going to go down here on the feet of my planter. Looks like I need to actually use my scissors. And one here. And one here. There we go. And we'll put a piece here. Piece up there. Piece down the leg. Piece on the tail. And then a piece on the vase. Okay. So we've got our foam tape everywhere. And you guys know what kind of embellishment I'm going to put on this, right? After I stamp and die cut my sentiment, you guys can tell me. I'm sure what kind of what kind of embellishment we're going to put on here. Right? I love this little kitty hiding under the the stool there. <laughs> so cute. All right, he's going to play with the snail. He's not sure what to think of or she's not sure what to think of that snail. Is that snail dangerous? <laughs> now getting the back off this foam tape when they're small pieces like this can be a chore. There we go. There we go. Now, I have all of these elements touching or coming off of and going into another block on here. See how that composition seems to continue on because of the blocking? That's what I was going for. 
So they're not coming off the side of our card, but they are coming off the side of the blocking. So that makes it look like a continuous image. All right, and now I will color in my snail with R24. Why R24 and why R27? Just real quick, a little, little bit like a dot here and there because I ain't trying to do any blending here. And I don't want to run my versifying mark uh, ink. So there we go. And some W3 on the snail itself, the body. There. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> My cats find the darndest stuff, so. Okay. Who voted for the Trinity Stamps Boiled Sugar Hearts? Let me just say, Trinity Stamps has a sale going on right now, so you might want to look at the newsletter and find my link for them. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, just go to delinardi.com and put your email address in the little block that pops up on the screen. Do the same thing for Colorado Craft Company. Man, if you don't subscribe to the newsletter, you miss out on a lot of information. So let's put a W of these down. One, two, three, four, five. A zigzag. Oops. There we go. The middle one is the biggest one. There we go. And then a medium sized one on both sides of that. And then small ones. I can find any more. I've got to order more of these guys. What would I do if I ever ran out? The world would end. These are the best embellishments ever. I'm sorry to all the other embellishments. Don't get mad, other embellishments. I love these darn jelly hearts. They're my favorites. All right. And I don't say favorites lightly. I don't ever say favorites about anything because I don't want people to get jealous, but I'm just saying. These jelly hearts, they're the best because they're clear and they pick up what is underneath them. And they look awesome in photographs. So there's that. There we go. What do you guys think? I didn't put in my, my sentiment yet. Let's do that. Oops. We have a nice little piece of foam tape there for that. And the sentiment we are gonna use is this one, have a perfect day. <laughs> Lana, you're hilarious. Laura, I know I made you do it. It's my fault, I'm sure. Absolutely. I take the blame. And if anyone asks about packages coming in and you need to blame somebody, I am happy to be the fall guy. Absolutely. All right. So I have my Versamark ink here. Versafine ink, sorry. This is Onyx Black, Versafine Onyx Black. I'm just gonna stamp, let's see if I can get it on screen there for you. 
I don't want to put a lot of pressure down, but that's perfect. Perfect. P-U-R-R-fact. And now we can just die cut this sucker real fast. Have a perfect day. These are super easy to line up. There we go. I'm going to run this through my Gemini Junior. And we'll be back after these messages. I'm kidding. We're not going anywhere. Let me take my mic off so I can reach this. I need a better setup. I need to put my Gemini Junior over here closer. So that I don't have to take my mic off whenever I want to die cut. Oh, I didn't tell you guys this. My daughter bought her first car and she bought it today with cash. Wasn't that great? I'm so proud of her. I'm going to give her a round of applause. Trudy, what are you talking about, my friend? How many releases? Aw, uh, thank you, Stacy. That's very sweet of you to say. I made a home run with my card. <laughs> Yay. Let's put those over here. All right. Let's grab my extra little strip here. Put it on the back. Fill that up and we can put that right here. Right there. Isn't that fun? So stencil blocking technique. Stencil blocked backgrounds. I will have everything listed in the um, supplies list. I will add all of these now once we get off here. I think the only thing missing is the is the stencil maybe that's the only thing i missed <laughs> yeah she paid cash for her she bought herself a nice little used car uh toyota rav4 i think so yeah i was very proud of her very 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 good very good yes dave ramsey would be proud cash is king absolutely Thank you guys. I appreciate you chiming in. I'm glad you like my little card. These uh, stamp sets are just fantastic. Also, keep in mind that uh, this is Stamp Timber, so I'm coming out with the, the deals every day. Been trying to keep up with the deals from Simon Says Stamp and from this release for uh, Colorado Craft Company. And so tomorrow morning I'll publish another crafty deals because it's Labor Day and there'll be new stuff coming out. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, Stacy, you're gonna be a grandma of a grandson. Awesome, congratulations. Let's give them a hand clap. Ah, yes. Thank you for praying for her safety and for my sanity. <laughs> uh, can I share a scripture with you guys today? Would you mind if I shared a short scripture while you guys get your comments in for the giveaway? I'm going to share a Bible verse with you. If you don't like Bible verses, just do this. Uh, you know, don't, don't get mad at me for sharing a Bible verse, but... Uh, I'm not doing the orchid tonight, but I will be doing the orchid. So stay tuned for this uh, orchid coming up again. I will be doing it. So um, I just wanted to share this verse with you. If you don't like Bible verses, I guess it's not too bad for you. But I love this. Um, Psalm 139, 14. 
Um, I just love this. Sometimes we don't like how we're how we are. Anybody here don't don't like how you are? You want to be different than who you are, or you want to change, and then you think you'll be happy if you'll change, or maybe if you lost a certain amount of weight here, a certain amount of weight there, you did you didn't look a certain way, or your hair was a different way, or your nose was a different size, or maybe your butt wasn't that big. You know, there's lots of reasons we complain about who we are or what, how we're shaped. And I just wanted to share this verse with you. Um, this is the, the English Standard Version. Psalm 139, 14 says, I praise you. This is the psalmist talking to God. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My soul. We are made, and we are made, we are created by someone. Someone um, who is super powerful and intelligent and loves his creation. And so when we look at ourselves and we're like, ugh, I don't like that. I think maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe God is looking at us and saying, you know what? I love what I see. I made that. And I wish they could see themselves as I see them. And so uh, next time you're thinking, maybe you wish you were a different shape or size or someone's imagined idea of beauty... Just think about that verse and know that you are fearfully and wonderfully created by someone who designed you to be just like you are. Just a little bit of encouragement for you tonight. All right. No more sermon. No more preaching. But I wanted to share that encouragement. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I wish I was, I had hair. I wish I was skinny. <laughs> all those things but uh yeah just remember god made you the way you are and he loves just what he made because he made you fearfully and wonderfully all right thank you everyone for commenting tonight we're going to pick a winner for a numinator a numinator a numinator a numinator this is the tool that trudy makes it's a wooden tool to help you Get even pressure on your Misty tool, stamping platform, or whatever you use. And um, so I'm just going to go up to the very beginning, and then go down, and up and down a little bit, and stop on the winner. The winner is Debbie Mullen. So much eye candy. Love all the stamp sets. So Debbie, you are the winner of the Numinator. Congratulations, Debbie. And then I wanted to share um, a prize from Colorado Craft Company. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. I'm glad you liked that. It's so good. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm glad you guys like that verse. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. The other one is, let's see, the other winner is, this is a, um, I need that winner to, to send me an email telling me you won a Numinator from tonight's video. So send me a message to delanardi. can't talk, delanardi at gmail.com and let me know you won that and I'll forward that on to Trudy. So give me your address and that way I can forward that on to her. All right, sounds good. Now, this is for the Colorado Craft Company stamp set. You will get the stamp set of your choice. And I'll tell you the email address to send an email to. You just send this, uh, the winner. Let me give the winner first, and I'll send it, give you the email address. The winner is, oh, there we go, Lynn Sanders. <laughs> it went off screen there for a second when I spun it too hard. Congrats, Debbie, Lynn says. And uh, I want to say congrats, Lynn. Lynn, you are the winner of tonight's Colorado Craft Company stamp set. You just uh, 
earn an applause. Yay. And you need to write Belle, B-E-L-L-E, at coloradocraftcompany.com and let her know what stamp set you would like for them to send you, and they'll send it out to you. Isn't that nice of them? So cool. I really appreciate them always uh, sponsoring our shows and being with us. Always, always, always. Okay, I'm going to put this up on the blog. Not the blog. Maybe the, uh, the email tomorrow morning and Instagram and Facebook. And... Uh, We'll have some fun with that, all right? Also, if you haven't entered the giveaway for Colorado Craft Company on the blog hop that we did, you still have a chance to get your entry in. You just go to delinardi.com, find my Colorado Craft Company um, blog post from the other day, yesterday, and type a comment in there. You can also get another entry on every single blog and every single Instagram post. So you get 38 chances to win. Colorado Craft Company is super generous and fun with their giveaways. So you just go to uh, each of the blog hops, say something on their blog, on, their, on that, uh, that blog post on the hop, then hop over to instagram.com slash delinardi, find my Colorado Craft Company post, and comment in there that giveaway like and follow me and Colorado Craft Company you got another entry so you got lots of chances to win a stamp set and I think that's wonderful of them all right so uh, that's the show tonight guys I really appreciate it I thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you have a wonderful day to, or night tonight and day tomorrow God bless you all and have a wonderful evening